How's it going, folks? Ronaldo made a grand comeback with Portugal. Bayern have changed their coach and are preparing a big swap deal with Manchester City. And Messi got one step closer to Barcelona. We got a lot to talk about today. So give us a like, subscribe, and let's get the show on a pitch. Harry Kane has now scored 54 goals for England, more than any other player in the national team's history. Luka Modric is not thinking about going to Saudi Arabia. He wants to retire at Real Madrid next season. El Chiringuito reports. Self-centered? I don't understand it, but I accept it's a life of a high-level player. People judge without living it. They don't know the behavior I have in the group. Sports Gita quotes Kylian Mbappe. RB Leipzig will be able to extend Dani Olmo's contract only if they qualify for the Champions League. Build informs. His current deal will expire in the summer of 2024. Former striker of Barcelona, AS Roma and Stoke City Bojan Kurkic has announced his retirement from football at the age of 32. Cristiano Ronaldo started in his 197th match for Portugal and became the most capped player ever in men's international football. AS Roma head coach Jose Mourinho will hold a meeting with the club's board in the coming days. The manager is ready to stay with the Yellow and Reds, but will require a lot of money to boost the squad, according to Sky Sports. In Real Madrid, there are no celebratory chants or songs when we win. There, I understood that I was with players accustomed to winning. Naturally, I also became like that. Eduardo Camavinga shared. Chelsea are furious with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's visit to the Barcelona dressing room after El Clasico. The Blues are considering terminating the contract with the Gabonese. Diario Sport notifies. Napoli have rejected Newcastle United's 100 million euros bid for striker Victor Osimhen. PSG are keeping tabs on Hajduk split 16-year-old Croatian centre-back defender Luka Vuskovic. Lekip claims. AS Roma striker Paolo Dybala wants to see Juventus to get 50 million euros from his former club after the Italian giants changed their mind after renewing the player's contract despite their previous agreement. La Liga is considering appealing to FIFA over Barcelona's payments to Referees Committee Vice President José María Enríquez Negreira. The Catalans may be facing either points deduction or relegation to a lower-level division. Us writes. Antonio Conte was not present at Tottenham Hotspur trading session. The coach is negotiating with the club to terminate his contract. Cristiano Ronaldo has scored directly from a free kick for the second match in a row, although he has not scored from free kicks since April 2022. AC Milan intend to build a new stadium separate from Inter, the city's mayor Giuseppe Sale revealed. Barcelona could terminate Jordi Alba's contract due to financial fair play rules, though Blaugrana owe the Spanish defender 38 million euros in wages and deferred payments, according to Catalan newspaper Sport. Kyle Walker has been dribbled past more times than he has made tackles in the Premier League this season. Rayo Vallecano are interested in Atletico Madrid midfielder Saul Niguez, but the footballer's salary could be an obstacle to complete a move, according to Cadena Ser. This exorbitantly expensive team resembles a luxury department store. Individuals at PSG do not know how to collectively score a goal and generally how to contribute, ex Bayern defender Philip Lam notes. Liverpool are keen on acquiring Ruben Navish, but Wolverhampton Wanderers will ask at least £50 million for the Portuguese, according to Football Insider. Bayern are not willing to listen to any sort of offer for central midfielder Ryan Gravenberg in the summer despite the Dutchman's difficult first year in Munich. Former top manager of Nokia, founder and chairman of Nova M Group, Thomas Ziliakus, has submitted a bid to buy Manchester United. Ancelotti to manage Brazil? Who wouldn't want to take the pick? He respects Real, but if he leaves, I think he's one of the main names that will come here, Rodrigo Goes said. Manchester City have reignited their interest in Bayer Leverkusen midfielder Florian Wirtz, not in rights. Juventus are tracking Sassuolo midfielder Davide Fratesi, who is valued at 30 million euros, according to Calcio Mercato. Guard Southgate has recorded his 50th victory as the head coach of England. Kylian Mbappe is a world-class player, what can I say? There were a lot of people, a lot of toys in the bus parade. Imagine there are 6 million people throwing things at you, so you're gonna receive loads of things. It was nothing more than that, just a celebration. Here's how Argentina goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez explained the incident with the Kylian Mbappe doll. AC Milan continue to negotiate a new contract with Rafael Liao. The footballer wants to receive 7.5 million euros per year, while the club pushes for 6 million. However, the Rossoneri could meet his demands and increase the offer, according to Toto Fichajes. Marcus Rashford has postponed negotiations with Manchester United regarding a contract extension. The English striker wants to wait for the confirmed seal of the club and the arrival of the new owners. 
the Euro 2024 qualifiers have kicked off, and here are the results of yesterday's match day. Moving on to the main news of the release. Let's start off with a rewind of the most interesting moments from Euro 2024 qualifiers. England dealt with Italy 2-1, Declan Rice and Harry Kane saved the day for the three lines, and debutant Matteo Rategi got one back for Squadra Azzurra. Portugal thrashed Liechtenstein for a nil in Roberto Martinez's first match. Ronaldo backed a brace, scoring one of the goals directly from a free kick. Denmark's triumph over Finland with a score of 3-1 is also worth mentioning, as 20-year-old forward Rasmus Hoyland slotted a hat-trick in his first international appearance for the Red and Whites. Yesterday, Bayern's sudden rearrangement was something too mind-blowing to hear. The Munich side unexpectedly decided to sack the head coach Julian Nagelsmann and appoint Thomas Tuchel in his place. According to Christian Volk, the board's decision came as a huge surprise to Nagelsmann, who had just left for a skiing holiday in Austria. However, Bayern bosses are adamant for the idea of Julian being the one to blame for Dier Ratten dropping 10 points in the Bundesliga in 2023 and conceding top spot to Borussia Dortmund. Moreover, Bayern feared that Thomas Tuchel would soon find a new job amid the interest of Real Madrid and Tottenham Hotspur to his persona. Tuchel's contract with the Bavarians will last until the summer of 2025. On Monday, the former Chelsea boss is expected to hold his first training session with a new team. Lionel Messi's chances of returning to Barcelona are increasing rapidly. As 90 Min reports, the footballer's father, Jorge Messi, has recently held fruitful talks with the president of the Catalan club, Joan Laporta. The source notes that Messi's overall opinion on Laporta has softened, and now the Argentine is open to resign for Barca. It became known what kind of problems are happening inside the PSG dressing room under the tutelage of Christophe Galtier. The coach followed the path of Mauricio Pochettino and also ceased to be an authority for most of the performers. Some representatives of the Parisian club are dissatisfied with Galtier's overly cautious attitude towards the team's main men. PSG leaders have been forgiven for any sorts of actions for more than a month. RMC Sport notes that, for example, Lionel Messi has repeatedly refused to comply with Galtier's demands during training sessions, though Christophe does not punish the world champion for that at all. Interestingly enough, during the years of Galtier's work in Lille, the Mastiff's players especially noted Christophe's rigidity, which he is so afraid to show in relation to PSG celebrities. Manchester City are set to offload fullback Joao Cancelo to Bayern Munich on a permanent basis in a swap deal for winger Serge Gnabry as Pep Guardiola looks to bolster their attacking flanks for the next campaign. Joao, who has fallen out of favor with the Spanish manager, is not keen on returning to the Etihad and could therefore be used in a deal for Gnabry. We would like to remind you that Cancelo unexpectedly went on loan to Bayern Munich on the last day of the January transfer window and has already netted one goal and delivered four assists in nine appearances for Munich. Bayern have an option to buy Cancelo this summer for 70 million euros, but they will be happy to lower the price by offering Gnabry to the citizens. Serge must bring back to Manchester City the attacking speed that simply disappeared with the loss of Leroy Sané and then Raheem Sterling. Guys, we've launched the channel with 10-minute recaps of movies and series, a very convenient format to say the least. The channel just released a recap of a comedy about a schoolboy who got stuck in a time loop and now does whatever he wants. If you are a movie fan, then be sure to click on the link in front of you. Have a nice weekend everyone, and see you in a bit!